Hey, hey, YouTube, Rich McCall, Rich McCall Servants. So yesterday I dropped a video on my 2019 pickups for the year, and it wasn't a lot of snakes, was it? So today we'll do a video on snakes that I made myself that I kept. Apparently you're supposed to sell snakes, but uh, I just don't seem to sell a lot of my snakes. All right, so this is a group of female orange dream pies that I made myself. Um, this one especially is really, really nice. Just an amazingly cool orange dream female. And I love my orange dream pies. Big, big fan. So actually I held back four total. All kinds of stuff to do with this in the future. Super Orange Dreams, Banana Orange Dreams, just all kinds of cool stuff you can make with Orange Dream Pies. And I think I need to have a bunch of them in my collection. Plus they just make me happy. Ah, look at her. I'll have to pull out that Super Male. Hold on one second. And then this Orange Dream Pie that I kept. This is just a, just a regular orange dream pie, but oh my god, amazingly orange. Amazing orange. As he runs away on me completely. So these are, these are half siblings. They, uh, they have, um, the same father, but not the same mother. And, uh, this guy was just so amazingly bright. You can even see the difference right in here about how much more orange he is than, for example, that one. Um. A little bit younger and male that one is so there's some orange dream pies that i kept back for this year and this is an exceptionally gorgeous male highway pied um i made one male and two female highway pies in one clutch earlier and uh one of the female highway pies is uh the one i traded for a couple snakes from Jason Amos, which you may have seen in my last video. And this male, I kept for myself. Get up there with his head. See some of these spots. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Good eater. So highway and freeway, the asphalt and gravel projects are something I'm working a lot on. And uh, we got a lot of yellow belly stock, so it's a natural for my current collection to uh, go this way with these things. Plus, they're just gorgeous. Look at that. Just a gorgeous head. Nice animal. Colors. Purples. The yellows. All right. Just beautiful. All right, so this was a clutch of orange dreams that I kept the entire clutch of. All right, so this is an exceptionally nice orange dream that I'm holding back. Look at how bright that orange is. Now, it's got a little darkness in the tipping on top there. That's the orange dream thing. See the black tipping there above the bright oranges, but that orange, just intense orange. So what this is, is a whole clutch of orange dreams that I held back for myself. And I was attempting to figure out if I had TSK Exanthic in my collection or not. You guys may have seen my Exanthic pies that I've been making. And uh, so I bred uh, an orange dream Exanthic pied male to a snow TSK snow that is female and a snow is a exanthic albino mix that has its own cool colors that's different than an albino by a lot um, so I can report of course that my exanthic line is not TSK because I did a visual to a visual and I got no visuals therefore they're not the same line but I did make these really incredibly intensely nice orange dreams and that are quad hats. They are het albino, het pied, het my line of exanthic. And uh, this guy does not want to stop moving on. And het TSK exanthic. So I kept the entire clutch for myself. 
And it was pretty much a 50-50 mix of boys and girls. And you ask, what can I do with all of that? There's all kinds of stuff I can do. Of course, I can make more Orange Dream Xanthics, um, Orange Dream Xanthi Pides in both my line and TSK with these guys. I can make uh, snows, Orange Dream snows. I can make Orange Dream snow pides. So that would be Orange Dream pied Xanthic and albino. Very, very cool. I could pick myself up a candy pied. I actually don't have a candy pied yet. I should get one. There's all kinds of stuff I can do with that one. So I can make Candino, which is when candy and albino work together. Um, you can get a the mix. It's called a Candino. So I can make a Candino pied with this. I can make a Candino snow. I don't know what that would look like, a Candino snow, but it's got to be something kind of cool, I would think. Um, a Candino snow pied. That would be pretty sweet as well. Um, just a whole tremendous amount of stuff I can do with these animals. So I kept the whole clutch of them for the future. And they're quad hats, and so maybe they're not quite as sexy a quad hat as maybe a desert ghost clown pied puzzle might be. But I still think they're pretty cool, especially when the orange dream quality of these guys. is just It's amazing. Look at that. It's just amazingly cool flamings up the sides there. Just all kinds of details in this animal that are just neat. And I can't wait to see what kind of uh, animals I can make uh, as their offspring. All right. And then I held back a couple of pies that are probably normal pies. But may not be. So what I did was I had a bongo cinnamon. A male that I got. He was a full breeder when I got him. Except for he just didn't want to breed with me. So... I had been trying to get him to breed a lot, and I put him with a female who also was a really bad breeder, just to see what they would do, and she gave me eggs. Um, you may have watched my Instagram and stuff earlier in the year. There's a girl that's eight years old, and you know everybody tells you your, your snake will give you eggs at two and a half to three and 1,500 grams. Well, that girl did not read that brochure. She was eight solid years old, and I had hooked her up so many times trying to get her to breed. Um, and, uh, long story short, though, I finally got some eggs out of her from this, this bongo cinnamon, and most of the clutch was either bongo cinnamon or bongo cinnamon, so it was definitely that, that was the father who finally got through to her, but then it popped out with two pides. Now, definitely could have been a mixed sired clutched, because she had been hooked up with a whole lot of snakes, and, uh, so this simply could just have been holdover uh, sperm from another snake she had been. Because she was a hat pied. And I had put a whole kinds of pieds to her. So, But it's it's a little bit different than normal. And that's just it, right? This snake is well within what I consider sort of normal pied looks. Um, except for like that patch there. But then I've made pieds with goofy stuff like that before too and uh, so on and so forth and i had no indication that the bongo cinnamon was a uh, hat uh, pied um but you never know these days right you can get stuff like hat pied and stuff because people don't always pay attention to that when they're using up other snakes so i kept this one and uh, her sister because they're pies and even if they aren't a bongo pied in fact i, I hope they're not a bongo pied because i want a bongo pied to be cooler than what this one is um i hope i'm hoping it is a pretty nifty cool cool pied when i finally make one but um so i kept this one and i kept the siblings as well because they're potentially uh head pieds and i'm actually going to put that bongo cinnamon to a full pied this season just to see what happens figuring at the very least i'll just make some hats and if it actually is head pied then i can try to make a for real bongo pied um, so anyways, uh, like I said, in my collection, keeping extra pies is not a bad thing. I'm all about that. So, like I said, I don't really think this is a bongo pie, but it'd be cool if it was, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's another one I made this year. It's a yellow belly pastel pied, as you can see. Um... I kept for myself. I absolutely love these guys. And again, 
you know how heavy I'm working the freeway highway stuff, so I kept this one. She's pretty groovy. All right. So this is a bongo cinnamon, and I did a clutch of bongo cinnamon to a female lavender albino. And in that clutch, I only got one single female bongo het lav, which I'm going to keep, of course. Um, but I really, of course, wanted a male. So I had done another clutch where it was a het lavender mama. And uh, I'm keeping two males out of that clutch. So bongo cinnamon, 50% het lavs. I'm hoping that, you know, one of them is going to end up being het lavender. And uh, so we'll go from there and see what happens. I think that's uh, this will be a cool pattern, you know. Obviously, lavender albino will be this pattern uh, in the albino. So I think that'll be really cool. So that's why I'm keeping these guys. Pretty nice looking little guy, isn't he? Yeah, buddies. Bongo, if you are unfamiliar with Bongo, is a gene that came out about the same time as Cypress. And Cypress sort of overshadowed it in uh, ball pythons. Um... But I think it does a lot of cool stuff. It works really well in pastel. Works really well in yellow belly. Uh, as you can see, it works, you know, in cinnamon like this, which means it'll work really well in black pastel, and so on and so forth. And there's lots of combos that are out there already if you want to go check them out. But that's a gene I think you can pick up right now for a really good price and get a lot of payback in its power uh, as a pattern manipulation in uh, other genes. So there you go, that's my, my take on Bongo. Lavender Albino. I have made a lot of Lavender Albinos over the years. And I'll, quite frankly, I've sold like 95% of them. Um, it just wasn't my main project. I really wasn't focused on it. So um, that's why I was selling them. But in the end, I decided I needed some of these guys. And uh, I've actually only got a couple full Lavender females that I've made myself and kept. So this year I've kept three or four more full female lavender albinos to uh, add into my stuff and uh, as I said with the um, that bongo cinnamon you know I'm gonna get that gene going lavender albino and so it would be nice to have some females to uh, put a bongo cinnamon hat lav too now wouldn't it so you're looking at a pastel leopard hat clown possible hat pine that I made earlier in this year and the pattern on this animal is just really wigged out and cool and I seem to be making two kinds of pastel leopards one that I would call a more conventional look of a pastel leopard where you can see the leopard in the pastel but it's more blocky more blotchy um, in this one's case the pattern is just oh my god look at all this so I don't know that there's anything else going on in there or this is just a really beautiful example of pastel leopard but if I'm gonna keep an animal and grow it up and, and breed it you know what I want to keep my most fantastic super cool pattern ones as opposed to the more conventional ones and uh, so we'll see what happens with this one at the very least she's just a really cool snake in her own right huh so I kept her this is a little clutch that just uh, hatched a month or so ago and uh, not super spectacular looking on its own, but this is Het Monarch. And uh, my Monarch boy that I bought last year, two year and a half ago, didn't really get rolling too hardcore this year for me. But he did produce a clutch from a yellow belly um, calico female that I've got. And uh, so I'm going to keep that entire clutch, both the males and the females. And uh, not super spectacular, not cutting edge, but really and truly Monarch is uh, something I really want to work with. And uh, so at least I got a few more that are hats that I can work into that program right there. So straight up Het Monarch. I need to get the Monarch into my pied, of course, and uh, into Clown, and we'll see what happens after that. So cool. I think I've got seven total of these, uh, like 3.4, three males, four females. And, uh, you know, some of them are normals, honestly, and a couple of them are calicos. A couple of them are, are yellow belly calicos. And uh, I think I got one yellow belly. Which means, of course, I need to get my monarch into my uh, asphalt and gravel stuff too, huh? So we can see some freeway, highway monarchs. Aight. Ivory pied. I made two of these this year. 
they were in a highway hat pied to an ivory pied clutch that I had. And uh, keeping one of the ivory pies, selling the other. This actually is the one I have for sale. This girl is up on Morph Market right now as we speak. It was just more convenient for me to film her rather than the sibling that I'm keeping for myself. Um, pretty close to each other, though, as far as their looks go. Gorgeous, very subtle uh, uh, pied morph. And, of course, the point of this one is if you're working asphalt and uh, gravel projects, freeway, highway, that is, and you don't have to guess uh, what the stuff that you get is. None of that. Might be an asphalt, might be a yellow belly, might be a yellow belly, might be a gravel. If you use a yellow belly uh, super, which is what the ivory is, then your guesswork is out. This is a stunningly awesome girl. This is one of those girls that if she doesn't sell, I have no problem keeping her. Just a cool animal. All right. All right, this is a male banana pastel clown and I'm going to keep one of these and uh, I made three of them total one of which I'm going to sell one of which I'm going to auction at the US Ark auction in January in Pomona and then I'm going to keep this one for myself and and honestly this is a male maker and I'm not real big on making a lot of male banana coral glow animals but I do want to do some stuff with super banana coral gloves and so I'm going to keep this guy with the idea that at some point I'm going to work him into, uh, you know, but Super Banana Clown Project Animals. Pretty awesome little guy, huh? I actually have a sister who is exactly the same except for no banana that I'm keeping as well. Pretty neat. I just did a video the other day on these guys, so you might be familiar with them already. But I am holding them back, so they deserve to be in the holdback video. This is... Uh, what I am hoping is an asphalt pastel pied. Um, possibly it's a yellow belly pastel pied, but uh, I won't know until we breed him, and he's a him, so he's gonna grow up and uh, we'll find out what he is. But look at the colors on this guy. Just exquisitely, and really dark. I've made a lot of pastel yellow belly pieds, and I've never made one that was this dark before. And that's why I actually am hoping that he is, whoops, that's why I'm hoping he is um, uh, asphalt and not yellow belly. Either way, he's just really a gorgeous animal. Um, and then this one is a pastel freeway. And I, I got one male and one female of these guys. And I'm keeping both of those. So pastel freeway pied. That was a cool clutch. And if you haven't actually seen the video, I have actually two videos of these guys out. One when they were just hatched and they were like fresh out of the egg. And then I have one right after they had uh, all had their first sheds and stuff. So go well, look at that one if you want to. There's some other animals in that video too. But like I said, they, they need to be here since this is my video on holdbacks. All right. There we go. Just pretty. Here's another animal I just did another video on, but this being a holdback video, this one deserves to be here. This is a female pastel Gotham. So female clown pastel leopard banana. So this is going to be an absolute powerhouse for me. And just what a gorgeous animal, right? Just absolutely pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice, huh? Whoop, and she bit me. Feisty. Feisty, but pretty. I tell you what, you, you know logically that that head is tiny. The head is the size of your thumbnail. But you still don't want to get bit. <laughs> you know it can't hurt you, but you still jump. Yeah, I admit it. I jump. I jump. There she is. All right, Pastel Gotham. This little girl wants to run away. This one is so fresh out of the egg. She's still in first shed, as you can see. This is a yellow belly pied female that I'm going to keep. Um, it was a yellow belly uh, Gen X clutch. And uh, so. 
the females of that I'm probably I'm gonna keep all of them and they'll work again into my uh, highway freeway stuff pretty easily and you know and just a really great jean I think yellow belly is one of the best jeans possible whether it's in clown or pied or all by itself there's just so much you can do um, ivory pieds are awesome I mean just all kinds of stuff to do with these guys pretty cool huh and as I say that like this one's just fresh out of the egg I actually still have um, a shot at asphalt pieds and they will be asphalt pieds because it was asphalt het pied to a pied um, no yellow belly involved so no guessing involved and then I got a shot at some more orange dream pieds and then I got a cool shot only four eggs but a shot at super coral glow either pieds or het pieds and the, the mama was a unproven 66 percent het pied girl that I made myself and uh, either way that would be cool I could definitely deal with a, uh, a female super coral glow het pie would be awesome because like I said the father was a full pied so therefore the babies would be 100% het if they aren't real, uh, full pieds only four eggs though because the clutch didn't quite fully make it young female and that's what happens a lot with young females in my experience so far all right and last but not least, my Super Orange Dream Exanthic Pied. The girl on the left. Now, this is a Super Orange Dream Pied right here. And this one is uh, actually not a hold bag. This one is actually for sale up on Morph Market. But I wanted to illustrate why I think that this is a Super Orange Dream. Because, you know, it's a black and white snake. And I will say that, you know, obviously black and white snake... The only way to be 110% sure that it is Super Orange Dream is to breed it out. But as she cooperates right there for me by curling around her, her sibling, these are, these are siblings, and she's illustrating for me perfectly why I think she's a Super Orange Dream. So this is her sister, of course, and uh, everywhere that should be bright orange in the Super Orange Dream is just gone in the Exantic. So right there... And then you look at that and it's just gone. Um, this saddle, I think, illustrates it really well where you can see the black tipping going down through here. And then everything that was orange is just gone, which is very cool. Um, the black tipping is uh, an orange dream thing. You can see it right there in the super orange dream. That's what's given the super cool silver sheen to this Exanthic. That's where that's coming from. Um, it was a really good lesson for me to do all these exanthics using the orange dream and how exanthic actually works and how you can use it to try to plan out a breeding you know because um, it's sort of counterintuitive at first to say why would you put a super orange dream into exanthic well that's why it made it a really cool snake um, just leaving what's black in this snake um, like I said this girl is actually for sale video of her she's up on morph market um and she's one of those cool snakes where if she sells that's cool and if she doesn't sell i will not be disappointed because she's pretty awesome all right super orange dream exactly pied definitely my favorite self-produced animal of 2019 yeah so there you go guys that's some of the stuff that I kept back for myself this year. There's some odds and ends I've probably forgotten that I've kept as well. But uh, that's the bulk of it. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff there I kept entire clutches. And I only showed you, you know, one or two examples of the animals from those clutches. So I did pretty good this year, in my own opinion, the stuff that I wanted to work with. So, all right, YouTube, you guys have a great one. See ya. Sleepy little Coco.